Hey everybody, I'm Katie Couric. This is Eye to Eye. You know, it sounds like a Frankenstein fantasy, but the science of growing organ tissue is on the verge of some pretty unbelievable breakthroughs. Wyatt Andrews caught up with one researcher for a tour of what you might call the laboratory of the future. Check it out. These incubators are oven-like devices. Right. They have the same conditions as a human body, 37 degrees centigrade, 5% CO2, 95% oxygen, so they have actually the same conditions as you have inside your body. Right. And then it opens up like an oven, but instead of having uh, shelves with, uh, uh, with baked goods, you actually have uh, shelves with cells. And, and that, you, that's warm. That is warm, so this is actually uh, body temperature. Right. That's for the same temperature as inside your body. And then inside you see different kinds of plates and these plates are all full of uh, different kinds of cells. What might be in there or what is in there? Actually, these are uh, stem cells which have been derived from amniotic fluid. So this is a new type of stem cell. Amniotic fluid, stem yeah. cells. Correct. This is your typical uh, tissue culture hood and this is actually where we take the uh, cells and start expanding them. And these cells grow exponentially. You grow the cells in the plate until right. they fill the plate and then you split the plate into six other plates and then you take those six plates, you split them again, now you have uh, 36 plates, you take those 36 plates, you split them again and it's an exponential growth. But you're describing a situation where once you start this process, you can grow as much tissue as you need? In fact, that is uh, true, especially if we're using the stem cell populations. If we're using cells from your own body, which can, we can also do, then there's more of a limit on how many cells we can use, but we can certainly make enough cells to create tissues and organs that we can implant back into you. Here you see an a engineered blood vessel, and so and you can actually see the, the vessel beating, and uh, it's pulsating. And this is how we mature these engineered blood vessels. So this is actually an engineered blood vessel that's being ready uh, that, that is uh, ready uh, to be implanted. Are, are you telling me that you are growing a blood vessel right there? That's exactly right. That's actually an engineered blood vessel. So this is actually a, a blood vessel that has been uh, grown using cells. And so the outside has the muscle cells and the inside has the vascular cells. You can see there are different sizes, right. different uh, widths, different uh, depth in terms of the consistency of the tissue because they're all custom made. Right. They all have different, uh, different applications and we actually match the creation of the blood vessel to fit exactly the specific patient, if you will. All right, okay. But in this case, experimentally. Uh, these are sheep? These are uh, being created so we can implant them into sheep. That's a heart valve. This is a heart, an engineered heart valve. And is it growing? Uh, absolutely, what's happening right now is that these cells are continuing to mature and continuing to form new heart valve tissue. So do I take it the point of all this blood valve science and research is that one day you will do this in human beings? Absolutely, that's uh, the hope and that's exactly what we're working towards. I might contribute one day my heart valve cells, I'll give those to you. Is that how it works? Correct. What we would do is actually you would present to the clinic, we would take 10 cc's of your blood, so we would draw some blood from you, and we would then spin the cells down and then drive those cells to become either muscle cells or the cells that line the heart valve. We would then engineer a heart valve in the same manner, and then six weeks later, we would be able to implant that heart valve back into you, and that heart valve will be made up of your own tissue. So it really is custom made? It really is custom made. My own cells coming back into me? That is the advantage of this technology, is that you're taking cells that come from you, we're making the organ specifically for you, and we're implanting the organ right back into you without any fear of rejection.